Believe it or not, this bitterly cold stretch will have an impact on you once the temperatures do warm up again. Local 12 meteorologist Josh Knight joins us now to explain why a share a problem that's really bugging him. Good afternoon, Josh. <laughs> Good afternoon, John. I'm sure for most of us waking up this morning, you flip on the TV, see those temperatures below zero, and we think, oh, no, not again. But there could be some benefits. For most of us, it means layering back up and getting ready to head out into the frozen tundra that has become the tri-state and with that we are going to do our best to stay warm just like these students did here at the college of mount st joe we can bundle up but we wanted to talk with dr gene kritsky about what it means for insects and pests that can't add on the extra layers in a short phrase he says life finds a way if our winter hangs on longer and we have a later spring the mosquito season will actually start later but it's still going to happen there is some evidence to show, however, that these extreme cold temperatures could help control the emerald ash borer, a non-native species. Some of these lower temperatures may be killing some of the emerald ash borer. Uh, unfortunately, it also kills the parasites that we've been releasing to kill the emerald ash borer and kills them at a greater rate. So it won't take care of all of them, but it might slow that, that spread for a while. Now, Dr. Kritsky was showing me that on trees like this that face the sunshine, it might be below zero for the actual air temperature, but inside little nooks and crannies close to this bark, he's measured temperatures up to about 50 degrees on days just like this. And some of those species will actually plant their eggs or their larvae in those areas on the south side of the tree just so that they'll stay warmer throughout the winter. One other bit of good news, if you have some bed bugs that have found their way in in these colder temperatures, he says they cannot withstand temperatures this cold. So if you can get them outside, that actually will take care of them and they'll die out there so you don't have to worry about that. Live at the College of Mount St. Joe, Josh Knight, Local 12 News. Yeah, just take that couch and throw it out into the front yard. There you go. <laughs> All right, Josh, thank you so much for that.